You seem extremely at ease with the fact that you just murdered somebody, but uh, never mind. What? Press E to pump me up. There is a command I've never read before and I never want to read again. Is, 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 is it pumped? Has it, has it, have I done the pumping? Um, it, it, I, I suppose, I suppose I'd better go inside and pay, hadn't I? For crying out loud. Right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something called Six Bodies. Hi, friend. My advice would be a ring light. They work really well at solving this problem. Trust me, I learned that the hard way. Thanks, James. You're an absolute treasure to us. Five more dead. Officer, police officer Bog finds five more bodies on the bridge of Highway 45. Can I have some other things? Can I have some summer spices? Can I have giddy on? <laughs> Who's been buying all the beer and snacks? I mean, I don't blame them, but, um... I'm no expert, but I don't think... Beer? Hot dogs. Beer? Hot dog. Not exactly the same thing. Maybe after about 12 beers they are, but, um... Mm -mm, no, not at the moment. My giddy on. I see the supply chain issues have really hit home here, haven't they? James, alright, just leave in the middle of a conversation. That's polite. And then board the doors up so I can't leave. I guess this is one method of employee retention schemes. Open door with key, but I haven't got a key. I can get in here, though, but I can't get out of here, though. Oh, dear. Doors, those surprisingly complicated things in horror games. <laughs> Anyway, I was attracted to this game because apparently it had something to do with stealth mechanics rather than just uh, running away. Oh good, we found the CIA interrogation room. What do we have in the basement? What mischievous perversions have been going on down here? Idiot. This seems, this seems more like an underground bunker in the basement underneath a gas station shop. Why, why is there so many barrels here? They can't be the barrels that you keep the fuel in. You keep them in massive, massive tankers underneath the, um, underneath the forecourt, don't you? You just like keep them in barrels and then just like fill up the pumps themselves. Do you or do you? I don't know. If only I had a tool to help me with this. Okay, this environment, some tools. Oh, I should probably have these, shouldn't I? No? No. Okay, we're not having those, apparently, despite the fact that we desperately need some tools in this place. We're not going to open the box. It's literally got that word stenciled onto it. Okay, this environment seems like it's excellent for breaking line of sight in. And I know I have a crouch from the control scheme. Oh. Yeah, I was just thinking, this is the perfect setup for a little jump scare. It's just thinking that. Right, okay, well, we've got the key now, so we can't, um... We can't sprint at more than 3% faster than we went, uh... We, we, we go when we're walking, but, uh... Where is that key needed? Over here. Yeah, right. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. But yes, this environment seems to be built up as if it's designed for you to break line of sight. And if there's going to be some stealthy mechanics, I think we're going to be sort of sneaking around between boxes and things. Because there's lots of little gaps to help you see, but also lots of things to help you break a line of sight with some form of an enemy. So that environment back there, I think, is going to be of use. Here's what would also be of use. An electrician to get some light in this place. Okay, right, is this the tool that I need? Yes, a screwdriver. Here we are. This should do the job nicely. Okay, but I can't get in there because there's a big rug. Maybe it's got Cleopatra in it. Right. Hi, friend. <laughs> okay, so the lights, the lights do work. They just only work at thematically appropriate moments. I've forgotten how artistic the electricians in this locale are. Oh, okay. I just had to go and open my big fat mouth, didn't I? I sneak around the back here, then. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Okay, can I get through here quickly? Yes, I think I can. I'm going to pray this is a safe room. And it wasn't safe. 
Never mind. What? Oh, okay. We're not going to get uh, jump scared again by the uh, by the red man. Okay, that's fair enough. It's good that uh, when you reset, it doesn't uh, it doesn't just replay you the scares over and over again because that undervalues them by uh, constantly repeating them each time you die, and it's you know just irritating. So uh, that's a sensible little little bit of design. I approve of that. Okay, I didn't realise this guy was limber enough in order to actually um, crouch down and get through here as well. So I was rather hoping that this would be a little safe spot where I could go when necessary. Oh, it wasn't a rug, it was a big old barrel. I see. Okay, what does this button do? Well, I smacked the massive raspberry tart that was stuck on the wall, but it didn't seem to do a heck of a lot. I think that's meant to be a little bolt of lightning, a little electricity symbol that it has. So that must have powered something up. But I don't know what. I should have. Oh, goodness, has he seen me? I don't think I've been spotted. Good. Um, I need to come around this side. Yes. I should have taken more of an opportunity to explore this place while um while there wasn't a threat here in order to see if I could figure out where I might uh, where I might need this power. Okay, is there no way I can get get through here? There isn't, is there? No, cuz I'm going to have to have to work my way around him. Is that no, no, that's a big spool of something. It's a big spool of wire or something. Okay, right, where's he gone? Okay, he's over there. Is he patrolling along the, the, sort of this line here? Or is he just wandering around randomly? I think he's just patrolling. Okay. Let's stay here. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, he is moving at least somewhat randomly. Right, if he's turned around... Good, okay. I don't know how I got out of that without dying, but uh, I did, and I'm proud of myself, and I'm just going to take that tiny achievement and, well, <laughs> get a gravestone engraved on it, uh, or the other way around, because, let's be honest, my luck isn't going to last. Okay, right. Is this an elevator? Oh no, this is a doorway. I, uh, I think. Oh no, that's an elevator shaft, I think, that's going down. Can I call an elevator here no am I just supposed to leap down here because I think he's coming for me and I ain't got much choice oh I'm just playing out of map <laughs> okay I was expecting I was expecting I, I don't know what the hell I was expecting I was, I was expecting something um this is our first 3d game we've ever made so feedback and criticism are greatly appreciated that was actually really nice that was actually a very nice little um, little um, blend of 3D and the sort of little two-dimensional um, character characters. Um, what it was desperately in need of was some sound, right? Like a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of music, a little bit of tension. Um, you know, just to add a bit of uh, like emotion to it. But it sets up an interesting little story. Um, I don't quite see the connection between the. Um, like the crazy uh, man in the gas station and the uh, the dead bodies on the radio station uh, reading about on the, uh, the newspaper. That could have just been to like get your mind thinking about spooky scary things and then it throws you into the separate but equally spooky uh, world where the little core mechanic of the stealth is used. That could be the idea or it could be that they are more linked and in the fuller game uh, sort of the connections between these things are going to come together. Maybe he's the killer for example and I was driving along in state 45 or whatever it was and uh, I've become the sixth victim but um yeah that was cute I actually really enjoyed that lovely to do something with a bit of a, a stealth mechanic uh, for once so yeah good just in desperate need of some sound